Hello and welcome back to the Crafty Corner. Today I'm here to tell you about the new challenge over at the Funky Junkie. Our new theme is Shimmering Summer Fun. Add some sparkle to your creations and share them over at the Funky Junkie blog. I'll leave some links down in the description. And don't forget you can play along too on Instagram. Today I'm going to be working with Distress Glitter and a DIY Distress Pad. So. Go ahead and pause if you'd like to follow along with this short tutorial. All right, let's head over to the crafty corner. Today, we're going to be creating a card with a transparency overlay. Now the transparency overlay is going to be heat stable, so we're going to try embossing on it. To start with, we're going to need a stamping platform. And I'm going to put down my piece of Distress White cardstock right here at two and six. It's very important that I remember these two numbers because we're going to be switching back and forth between two different substrates. And to be extra certain, I'm going to put down some magnets to hold this in place. We're going to be stamping today with an old favorite stamp set of mine, Flutter by Tim Holtz. Definitely one of my all time favorite stamp sets. And we're going to be using a DIY Distress Ink Pad. This is a fun way to create your own custom blends and Tim has a fantastic video on how to create these DIY Distress Ink Pads. The colors I have in my Distress Ink Pad today are Picked Raspberry, Mustard Seed, Mermaid Lagoon, and Wilted Violet. To start with, I'm going to take my stamp and I'm going to place it on the cardstock. Then we'll pick up the stamp and ink it. Okay, now that I've stamped my first butterfly, we're going to take this sheet off and set it aside. And again, we need to remember the numbers two and six. Very important. And we're going to put down the heat stable acetate in the exact same spot. And we'll put the magnets back. Now, before I stamp again, I need to quickly clean off my stamp to make sure that I don't have any residue that will transfer onto the clear acetate. Okay, now with the Distress Embossing Ink, I'm going to ink up the butterfly and then stamp it again. Once this is stamped, I'm going to take the acetate off and I'm going to put it on here and add some sticky embossing powder. The sticky embossing powder is going to allow us to add some sparkle to these butterflies. Okay, not bad. There's just a little bit of extra residue on here, so I'm going to carefully brush that off with a little paintbrush. Okay, that looks good. Let's put back the extra embossing powder and then we're going to emboss and glitter that butterfly. So this part is tricky. Sticky embossing powder doesn't stay sticky for very long. We have to be very quick. The second this is heated, 
Then I need to sprinkle on the Distress Glitter right away. As you can see, as we put heat directly onto the acetate, the sticky embossing powder starts to melt and the plastic doesn't warp at all. This stuff is pretty cool. Okay, let's tap off the extra glitter and see how this looks. There we go, our first sparkly butterfly. Now, if we didn't have a stamping platform, there's another way that we could do the same technique. Again, I would take the butterfly and I would ink it up with the DIY pad. And I would stamp it down on the card. Then I would quickly dry it off with my Ranger heat tool. Then I would take the acetate piece and put it over the top. Line it up so it matches the edges exactly. Wipe off the stamp. Take some Distress Embossing ink. And carefully stamp over the top of the first stamp. and lift. Then we'd remove the first piece of cardstock and then sprinkle the embossing powder over the top. Tap it off. Put the extra powder back. And emboss. Let's take a look and see how closely that lined up. And that is pretty good. For the sake of time and the speed of this demo, I'm going to do the second method for the rest of the butterflies on this card front. Let's go ahead and put this on fast forward. Pretty good. Let's see how it looks over the top of the rainbow butterflies.
Ooh, that is pretty good. Those line up really nicely and I was just eyeballing it while stamping. So that is pretty cool. Okay, let's finish assembling our card. For the next part of this card, I'm going to be adding some wildflower fields. I have die cut these with some double-sided sticky back adhesive so that these will be extra easy to adhere to our card front. Now I'm going to adhere the acetate to the cover of our card using some tape from the ATG gun. To camouflage the glue line at the top, I'm going to add some more die cuts. So again, I'll just peel the sticky back adhesive off of these and stick them onto the card front. And now any little extra pieces, I can trim off the edge of the card. And the last step for this card is going to be to add a sentiment. For our sentiment, we're going to add Best Day Ever from the stamp set Bold Sayings. And to add it, we're going to be doing some bossing again. This time, I'm going to be embossing with the new Distress Color Prize Ribbon. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll just trim the sentiment and add it to our card. But I think before we add it, I'm going to add a little bit of distress ink around the edges.
therefore around the edges I'm going to take some of the prize ribbon distress ink. Here I've decided to lightly ink around the edges with prize ribbon. I'm also using dome foam which makes for a smooth transition around the corners. I love dome foam because it allows for a smooth blend. Okay, let's attach that to our card front. And to do that, I'm going to use a couple of foam squares. And there we go. There is our finished card. Today, we have been crafting to the theme, Shimmering Summer Fun. I hope that you will join us over at the Funky Junkie blog and join in the Funky Junkie Challenge, Shimmering Summer Fun. I've had so much fun putting this card together today and getting a chance to experiment with the brand new distress color, Prize Ribbon. I absolutely love this vibrant blue, and this is definitely going to be a new favorite when crafting. So until next time, happy crafting.